Hello, people! Day 5 or 6 of Nomad Phone. This is the progress report. I stopped programming because I wanted to take a break from all the logic. I still have to do the payment system. I haven't done that yet. But I have almost finished the CSS and this is how it looks. Um, it's not the prettiest thing, but it's what I could do in one day. Um, Nomad phone with a palm tree, create account or login, get an SMS from anywhere, get a, get a phone number from, and people can choose a country. So for example, here, United States, when this changes, it's going to search for the thing, for the phone, and then it'll say, claim a number for just one per month. I will click this number, for example, and it will send me to the confirmation page that says you're about to rent the phone number, whatever. The price of this number is this much. You will be charged for the first month only and you can cancel at any time. I'm going to click confirm and then, oops, I'm not logged in. So I have a very nice notification here that says create an account to continue with the purchase. And I have a Nomad phone login situation here. I don't know what happened here. This became so big. There's already one bug. I don't know why this is space. It's so huge. Oh, I think I know why. Yes, I think I know why. All right, so it should look like this. Okay. And I can either create account or login. I'm going to try to create an account and it will tell me that there is an email that already exists here. Maybe try to log in. So I'm going to go and try to log in. This is a bug I introduced yesterday at the end, I think. So we have login with Nomad Phone, create an account. I'm gonna log in, kapoom. And now I can confirm, I see a welcome thing over here and I can confirm that I wanna buy the phone number. This part works already and I already bought a phone number. So I'm gonna go to my dashboard right here. And this is how the numbers look like. It says, hello, here are your numbers. The design is very minimalistic. I have been inspired a lot by the homepage of Stripe and by the homepage of Marvel. So I want to, I'm going to like to copy them and their shadow process and everything. So yes, that's it. And then when we click here, we can go to the inbox. But in this case, the inbox doesn't look good. In this case, it looks kind of shit. So there are only two things I need to do. I need to show the inbox in a nice way. And the account part is not done. Uh, if I change password, it will look weird like this. I have to make it a little bit better and also change email. I have to make it new email. I have to make it better. And that's all, That's it. We have uh, everything else. We can create an account. We can log in. We can forget the password. And it all looks kind of cute. Um, I don't know. If you ask me, it looks nice. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching. I am going to keep doing CSS today. I think I'm not going to code the payment part later. I think I need to like uh, change a little bit the code that I'm making and when it, when stuff looks pretty, I feel more motivated. So yeah, I'm going to do the whole CSS. I need to do the footer. Yeah, I need to do the footer and I need to do the other account pages and I'm going to be finished. And then I can move on to the last part, which is the payment process. It's going to be handled with Stripe. Thank you for watching. Please like this video if you like it. Please leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Um, I don't know, I really appreciate your support and I appreciate your comments when you say like it looks good or it looks bad or whatever. The fact that you're watching my progress means a lot to me. So if you could give me your feedback, it'll be awesome. Thank you for watching and I will see you tomorrow with the CSS finished. Bye-bye, stay awesome.